rising rent in the city of Trees impacts people of all ages, of course, including our older neighbors. Nobody seems to be immune. Mm -hmm. Seniors living in a Boise manufactured home community say they cannot afford their monthly housing costs. Abby Davis went to that neighborhood today, and Abby, people living there, they say they don't have a lot of options. No, they really don't, especially since Idaho doesn't have any sort of rent control. It's an issue two men I talked to say needs to change. It's a community many Boise seniors call home. I moved in here in 2008. Including Gordon Hastings. But Hastings says he and his neighbors are getting priced out. There's a lot of people that are really struggling here. When Hastings moved into his Glenbrier manufactured home 15 years ago, he says he paid about $320 in rent every month. Now, he says the out-of-state real estate investment company that owns the park charges more than 700 you own the house, they own the land, you're no longer renting, you're paying ransom because you have no control over it. At 80 years old, Hastings lives off Social Security, but he says that's no longer enough to cover housing. I've got my application in on four different temp jobs. Hastings neighbor, Al Bartz. You want me to back it out so you can see it? Already went back to work. He's 84. I like this place, but can't afford it. But you can't sell either because nobody will buy. What are the options in Idaho for people who are in this situation? As it exists right now, there's not a lot of options because Idaho has very investor-friendly laws and, and wants to maintain that kind of business environment. Holly Apsley with Leap Housing says it's up to policymakers at the local and state levels to better protect people living in manufactured homes. I would love to see the state, the counties, the cities recognize that these are really valuable forms of housing, that they serve populations that really need it, that they are a dense use of land that to me fits a lot of the, the vision for the future of Boise and think about how they can better support residents to, to stay and to not be priced out of, of living in Boise or living in Idaho. We want to stay here, but we don't want to have to keep paying high uh, increases in rent every month. I reached out to the city of Boise about this specific issue. A spokesperson said they're concerned about housing stability and that cities can't place limits on rent increases. In a statement sent to KTVB, they said we have worked hard to recently pass additional renter protections and will continue to work with partners to ensure safe and healthy places to live exist at every budget level. I also left my contact information with the company that owns Glenbriar Park, but haven't heard from them yet. Morgan and Brian. And Abby, you've covered this before. This is not a new issue. You've no. talked to seniors in our community, people who live in those mobile home parks, and this has been a problem for a really long time. Yes, yeah, it really has. And as people have explained to us, it's really only getting worse. Mm. A couple years ago, the Idaho legislature addressed this issue and said no rent control in Idaho, mm. no matter where yeah. you live. So. It's, it's controversial for sure. Yeah. All right, thanks, Abby.